Welcome to another Tech Tuesday video. As part of our series on JotForm, this video will give an overview of the different ways that you can create a form. Tech Tuesdays are brought to you by NMDelt, a project of Propel. To create a form, you simply need to click on the orange Create Form button, which is located on your homepage on the top left corner. Your first option is to start from scratch. When you click Start from Scratch, you'll then be given the choice between Classic Layout or Card Layout. With Classic Layout, all questions will appear on the same page. With Card Layout, each question will have its own page. No matter which one you choose, you'll start with a blank form to begin building. If you are just getting started with JotForm, don't have a lot of time to build a form from scratch, or you just want to see what others have done, you have the option to choose one of over 10,000 templates. To do this, click on Use Template, and you will be directed to the template library. Here, you can search for the template that seems like the right fit for you in a number of ways. You can type a description in the search bar. You can click on the form types listed on the left-hand toolbar, or you can simply scroll to browse. When you find one you like, you can click Preview to get a better look at all of the fields before choosing it. Or you can click Use Template to select the form. Clicking Use Template will create a copy of that template into your account so that you can customize it as you see fit. Your last option is to import a form. There are three ways that you can import an existing form into JotForm. You can pull a form from a web page, clone one of your existing forms, or convert a PDF form that you have on file. If you have found a survey on a website that you would like to customize, you can choose to import that form using the page's URL. When you click the From a Web Page option, you will see a bar appear at the bottom prompting you to enter the URL that you want to pull from. As an example, if I were to want to create a membership form using Coabe's form as a template, I would go to their membership page, copy the URL, and paste it on the form creation page. Then I would click Create Form, and JotForm will pull in any form fields it finds on the page. As you can see, this is not going to be a perfect template, so I'm going to have to spend quite a bit of time with customization if I choose to import this form. Another thing to note is that JotForm will not always recognize forms that are embedded into web pages, especially Google Forms, so this is not an option that I personally choose to use. Once you have some forms created in JotForm, you can use those forms to create new, updated copies. When you click Clone Your Existing Form, you'll see a list of all of your forms, and all you'll need to do is choose the one to clone. This is a great option if you need to almost exactly replicate the design and questions from another form. For example, if you're sending out a student survey every semester, and you just want to make some small changes from last semester's survey, this is a quick and easy option. Finally, if you have a survey saved in a PDF file, you can use the Import PDF Form option to pull your survey into JotForm. When you click Import PDF Form, you'll then be prompted to upload the file or drag and drop it into the box. From there, just like with the website option, JotForm will scan the PDF for questions and translate them into form fields. Once the PDF has been imported, you can edit and customize the form, making this another quick and easy way to create a form. Next week, we will go into detail about how to customize forms once they are created. See you next time.